Thank you very much, gentlemen. What a game. Team Liquid still going crazy behind me, discussing the matchup. A beautiful end to an eight-game win streak for the regular season. I'm joined by dominated Team Liquid after their victory over Impulse. Madison Square Garden now in the books. A bye now in the books. But that game got shaky, Dominate. What was the communication like with the team? And do you guys have enough left in the tank to keep going? Oh, definitely. I mean, we're still we're still prepping for playoffs. We still have a bunch of comps that we haven't shown. Uh, this was really standard versus Impulse. We like to try to play a standard game and just try to outplay them in the early game, which I thought we did a good job of. Like, we were super far ahead, and then we just started throwing. Like, we had two inhibs and Baron, and we just got too eager to end the game. If we just sat on our lead and made them engage on us, we probably would have won the game. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like, whatever. Like, things happen. Uh, at least we're going to playoffs. We're getting our first round by, so I'm happy with where we're at. How do you feel that this will translate into a best of five situation? Things are going to get tougher. The games are going to get longer. How is the team going to approach that? Have you thought about those yet? Um, I haven't really thought about it too much besides for just like our planning. Besides for like, like I've said, we have multiple comps lined up. Um, and I think it's just going to be up to us to adapt to the series and figure out exactly what the enemy team's doing and which one of our comps best suits um, taking down their strengths. So I think that that's just... Um, what we're looking forward to, but yeah, at least now we have a bye, we have some time to prepare, and we can get uh, a good game, uh, or a good plan going into playoffs. And that's what I want to talk to about you right now. Final question, you have CLG coming up and a little time to prepare. What are you going to do at this time before your next match? Honestly, we're probably just going to like t talk a little bit, and it's just going to kind of be both teams just playing um, however, they, however they want, kind of just like the same style as they've been uh, playing before. I mean, the game doesn't mean too much because both teams are already guaranteed a bye. And you could argue that second and first are both of like uh, equal strength right now because like let's say you get um, you get you get second and then you have to play uh, you could potentially play TSM. Actually, I'm not even sure. Maybe maybe it's first is better because you could actually play TSM. Whoever doesn't get to play TSM, that's where we want to be. All right. First is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first, get in the laugh from Cali. First is the best. First is the best. But um, I mean, both first and second get a buy. So. 13 and 5 is the best we've ever finished a regular season, so I'm happy with, with, um, with how he did regardless. Absolutely. Breaking curses and then stomping on them. Congratulations on the victories. Best of luck in the rest of the games. We're going to throw it over to the analyst desk to break down the rest of that game. Thank you, Riv. I mean, just an absolutely insane game. Back and forth, well fought by both teams. A new longest game of the year. I feel like I've said that Jeez. like six times, you know, this in the week. past. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so looking ahead, we now have three tiebreakers. For sure. Yep. Liquid here. This is who I want to talk about after that game. The, as Dominate said, they played the early game very well, but things started to kind of oh crumble for them. Oh, man. Yeah, we kept having, because we like to prepare replay segments for these things. We kept having to, like, find a fight. And be like, no, we can't use that one anymore. Pull that one. Because Pull that the game one. kept outdoing itself. And at the end of it, there's just too much that was happening. Obviously, there was a critical make-or-break moment where Tip almost held them off in the top lane. They did hold them off. They came back. Uh, a few times, Gate got caught out. Like, there were definite mistakes and teams crumbling under pressure. But this was such a meaningful game, and to deliver on that level is just unbelievable. Yeah, right. that, that top lane fight, though. Impact, if TIP had won, he would have gotten MVP of this game. Like, hands down, saving this game multiple times. But then Team Liquid were able to bring it back after some mess-ups there. But it was like mess-ups yeah, back and forth. It was, it was sloppy, but it was entertaining. <laughs> and over, Very much overall, entertaining. though, like, I walk away from that game, and... The thing I learned was, you know, you probably shouldn't give Phoenix Azir again. Probably not. Probably but, see, not. But here's the thing. Did, 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 I, I'm not entirely certain that that game hinged on Azir. Like, the, yeah. right, he got a lot out of the early game, right? He had an advantage over Gate. He got first blood. He was able to snowball a bit. Then what happened top lane was everybody said, all right, get Phoenix. Second time that they were able to get an engage and impact got onto Phoenix again. He's a big part of the way that Team Liquid operates, and taking him out and targeting him in team fights is how they're able to get those team fight wins. Without a doubt, I'm just saying I don't think the champion is the reason for the win. Yeah. Phoenix is a threat. He's on an amazing as your player. Yeah, I'm saying he's amazing as your player. The way they won was putting him in a situation where you it's catch 22. You can test dragon. You get the inside. We get the inside track on it if you get dragon. Right. That's so let's okay. so let's yes. Yeah, so then let's okay. talk about let's talk about yeah. that because moving ahead we've got Team Liquid versus CLG in our first place tiebreaker here. Mm -hmm. Huge match. Up. Very excited to see this. Let's talk about a couple things. First thing on the docket, stamina for Team Liquid. Right. This was a very long game. This was a high-intensity game, the, a game that they maybe should have won sooner, as Dominate said. They were able to pull it out. They have adrenaline running in, on one side, but on the other side, they had some mistakes. They had, you know, they're going to be a little bit weary in terms of stamina. Is this going to be a, a major factor 
post break before the game? It, it cuts both ways. I think there's definitely going to be one of these short preparation windows turnaround. Obviously, they're so used to having the entire day or the entire week to prep picks and bands and prepare for an upcoming opponent. But as I will dominate said, the relief has actually arrived for them because mm -hmm. they're first round by guaranteed. And depending on how the bracket falls, they may not even want for a seed necessarily. Uh, the big thing I'm wondering is the stamina for Tip, mm. who had a real chance to win that game, fell apart a little bit after coming back, and now they need to win to avoid playing TSM in the first round. I think that's the stamina problem we're going to be running into. Yeah, okay. In terms of Team Liquid, though, if this is a stamina problem, then they're not going to survive in BO5s. So yes. I think they're going to have no problem here. All right. Well, I, yeah. No, I understand that. The point is that this was a high-intensity game. Oh, Those geez. are always yes, a little yes. bit more draining. You know, next, next thing has got to be just how that game ended. Right? When we talk about shot calling right mm -hmm. there, I mean, the fashion in which Team Liquid ended up winning the game, granted, they had mistakes. There were mistakes littered about on either side of this matchup. You know, the call... To give up that fight for fifth dragon that some some teams would want so desperately, and instead to realize that they could make that hard push down the mid lane yeah. is a pretty spectacular one, and kind of shows the veteran status of the shot calling on Team Liquid in these high pressure games. It's kind of a micro thing too, because you have to put who can kill dragon, who can defend for them, who can guard the path to our base at the same time. So in order to counter against that, you have to allocate two, two, and one appropriately. And it's so yeah. damn hard to do that in the moment and react to how they're doing it. Because they have Sivir as well. So if you push too many people too far up, they just rush the gut and they kill the two people on the bottom. Then they take it afterwards. All right, so actually a little insight into how that decision was made. Phoenix tweeted, tweeted rather, as soon as the game was over, I said, let them dragon, go Sivir ult, and end. <laughs> so funnily enough... His English has really improved. Exactly. <laughs> the, the, shot, the shot call, though, in a sense, for the end yeah. of the game came so, from someone other than Dominate. Yeah, what's, what's unique to me about Team Liquid as well is they followed a very bumpy path that continually trends upwards. And that game was almost a microcosm of that exact thing because they had the game in hand. That was like one of their winning streaks. And then they make a mistake at the inhibitor. That's a stumble. But they're getting better and better at recovering, whether it's in between games or during the game, even super early on in the split. I will dominate was talking about how to become a top team, they need to be able to recover from mistakes within the game. And in the most important game they have played all year, they were able to do that. And I think that is just a tremendous amount of growth for us. this team, who used to tilt really heavily, are now recovering within the game. Yes. Yep. One minor last thing, back over to the side of the tip, because obviously they have to play again. One more look at Gate. He did get manhandled yeah. a little bit early in the game, so that's going to continue to be uh, you know, a weakness that teams can target, I believe, for Impulse. However... You know, the fact that they were even able to, to take a game, you know, this far against now a team contending for first place with a, a, such a recent replacement is a pretty incredible thing. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's impressive to a point that they were able to almost 2-0 this week with that. Mm -hmm. But Gate did show as a liability in that game, both in the laning phase, setting Rush behind, and also when they had come back, being getting picked off in that mid lane when he had no real reason to be there, uh, shows that there is definitely a lot of growing to do for that position. Yeah, and they're playing Gravity, who they just beat yesterday. So yeah. I wonder, it really depends on what side Gravity ends up on, blue, red, because they have that side where it's, they don't do very well on blue. And if they can get a counter pick for Gate, he'll be in a little bit of a better situation there. All yeah. right, well, we'll know soon enough with uh, about which side they are on. Both or all six of our teams are going to have a little bit of time to prepare now. Uh, I think we are going to be heading to Braves. We're going into overtime. After this quick break, we'll set up for our first tiebreaker match to determine seventh place. It's Team 8 versus Cloud9. Don't go anywhere. Please carry me, Rush. Yeah. Rush, please carry me too. Yeah. I don't need you to carry me. Yeah. It's okay. Knocked in, forced to flash out, cross the front line. Re-engage comes across, three big kills picked up. Ajiru. Saver, saver, saver. I got saver, I got saver. Ajiru, stop, 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 Ajiru, stop. Nice. Okay, okay, Malka, Malka, Just Malka. go front line, we can win this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shield two, shield two, shield two. Shield two. Heal, heal. Stop, 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 stop. Nice. Oh, oh, he's still up somehow. Impact kiting away from Dominate. Oh my god, another ace for Impulse. And in comes Quas for Impact. Rush in the back lane as well. Zones out Piglet. It's a oh double kill for my. Impact. Special goes down to Gate. Impact away. still on the chase. Gate trying to run through Quas and Tom. There's kills all over the place. You can end, you can end, you got this, you got this. Go, 